Good day, welcome to Keymore's Everything. I have the Game Boy Advance Scout, and this is actually one of my favorite little consoles. A lot of great games on there. This one is actually came from a website from a foreign country, and of course I'm sure it's not something uh, Nintendo ever released. This is the Zelda 7 One Collection, and of course the seven Zelda games. There's a couple, or actually three Game Boy Advance games, uh, two NES, and three Game Boy Color games. I'll take a look at those in a second, but I thought I'd show you the cartridge. I'll we'll plug it in and take a look. So let's plug it in and take a look, and then what we'll do, we'll just take a quick look at every game that's on here. So let's look at the menu. Okay, here's the main screen. Uh, Legend of Zelda, 7-1. And of course you get actually eight games. You get Zelda, The Minish Cap, Zelda, Link to the Past, and The Four Swords. Legend of Zelda, this is NES, actually these two are Game Boy Advance, or these three are Game Boy Advance. Uh, NES, Legend of Zelda, the classic, Legend of Zelda 2, NES. Uh, Link's Awakening DX, Game Boy Color, Zelda Oracle Ages Color, and Zelda Oracle Seasons Color. And the Game Boy Advance games do save. So these ones do. Uh, these I've been using the save state. So what you can do is hold the left and right bumper uh, your Game Boy Advance and get to the main menu or the emulator menu and do a save state on those because I have not had much luck with uh, these guys saving. Uh, so make sure you do the save state on those because you'll kind of lose your, your place. They don't seem like they save. Uh, so, but like these do, the Game Boy Advance ones do, but the rest use the emulator saves. So I'll kind of show you that here in a second. But those are the seven games. And uh, very nice. Like the Game Boy Advance games, really nice. Uh, NES, the NES emulator and the Game Boy Advance, not that great. The graphics-wise, not very good. Uh, but the Game Boy Color ones, the Goomba emulator, really nice. Well, like I said, I didn't seem to be having much luck saving these games, but the Game Boy Advance ones do. So let's take a look at the games. So let's take a look at each game. You can see uh, the Minish Cap. And I did test the saves on here, so I do know for a fact uh, which ones do work and don't work. Uh, so you see I should have... Let me get to the start. So you can see I got a, already have a save on here. I didn't get very far. I just want to test the saves out. But it do seem like it play fairly well like it should. So we got that one. And then go to the next game. And this one is Link to the Past and Four Swords. And you can see when we start up here, you get a choice of which game you want to play. save on here. I'm going to pick the, the game. Kind of an interesting game. This is probably the one I'm going to play next. I did make a little save state on just so you can see there's a save state. And those all play fine. And these are the ones I think I'm the most disappointed in. Uh, the NES emulator has never been very good. I guess it's okay, but I've never been super impressed with it. Uh, this is the NES and it does not save to save I do left and right button bumpers and you can see down here there is a save state let's see where is he at uh, save state and that's what I did see up here it says new so I did create a save state and I'll pop it open Oops, let's do it again. Oh, maybe I saved it. Load. Yeah, I actually saved over it. That's okay. So yeah, definitely be careful on that. But it does work. We'll take a look at the next game, which is uh, Legend of Zelda 2. Of course, another NES game. And same with this guy, you have to do the save states to save your game. That's, at least that's how I've been doing it. It may get the little save codes in there and everything, but uh, I have not had much luck with that. And the rest are Game Boy Color games, uh, Link's Awakening DX. And this, of course, use the Goomba emulator. And you can see they got save and load states in here. And 
It all works fine. Of course, you gotta, you know, user save states to get to that. Plays fine. And then we have uh, Oracle of Ages. This is actually a really good game, too. I'm gonna have to see in the emulator if we can make it fit the screen instead of having a little, a little border around it. So that all works fine. Like I said, you need to use the save states on these guys. At least that's, what, like I said, probably the best way to go. And then the last one is Oracle of Seasons. So yes, all the games do work. I kind of bought this just for the Game Boy Advance games, but it's kind of neat to see the uh, uh, Legend of Zelda. Although, like I said, the, the emulators on here, um, they're okay, you know, nothing fancy. But that's basically what you get. And this was like maybe $4. It wasn't a lot of money. Uh, would I buy it again? Uh, probably, because uh, like, you get a nice selection of games to play. Uh, probably the best bet if you're gonna do this, Go on eBay, buy the game you want to play, and play it. Uh, probably enjoy it a lot more. I know you can't play some of these these games here on here because they're emulated, and that's probably why I think most people are going to buy this because oh, I want to play Legend of Zelda. And like I said, they all work fine. They all work fine. Uh, nice little cartridge for the price. And that is the Zelda Collection Seven and One. Nice little cartridge. Anyway. See it, pick it up, uh, give it a play. Uh, if you're not, don't get, get the ROMs or playing it through an emulator. If you want to do it that way, if you want to play on the original hardware, you can go uh, go on eBay. That's probably your best bet to get these cards. They're not super expensive. Some of the Zelda ones are kind of pricey, uh, but all in all, still pretty good cartridge.